In this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you how to run the U-Trips offense in Madden 21. What's up guys, my name's Cody, and I just wanna thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is all about helping people become better Madden players. And so if you wanna get better at this game, I just wanna encourage you to click the subscribe button at the bottom right corner of your screen. It's completely free to subscribe, and it just allows you to be able to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies right here on the channel. Now in this video, we are talking a little bit about U-Trips, the U-Trips offense, and why it is so dang effective. And I've this is probably, honestly, probably one of my favorite offenses that I've ran all season long. And the main reason why I like it so much is because it is so dang simple. It's very simple to run this offense. And if you can really master a couple of different little things, you can be very, very effective with this offense. And so again, if you have not already hit the subscribe button yet, I just wanna encourage you to do that. It's completely free to do that. And if you wanna go ahead and get my entire U-Trips offensive guide, you can get that in the description of this video. Now the play that we're gonna be going over in this video is the play tight end whip. And we're gonna run this um, a couple of different ways, but I think you're gonna get a ton of value in how we execute this play. And so the really the core starting point for this play is how to use this as a nice little levels concept. It's actually a very good levels concept, and we're gonna dive into why that is so in this video. All right, so tight end whip. Basically what we're going to do here is we're gonna to try to keep it as simple as possible. This is a very, very good um, little route combination specifically for something like a cover three Mabel. And so basically what we're gonna do is we are going to take the circle receiver and we're gonna put him on a curl route, just like so. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the triangle receiver, which is our running back, and we're gonna put him on a wheel route so that he can help pull zones out of the way. And then the last little step that we're gonna do is we have a couple of options. We can take the tight end and we can leave him on his little whip route. We can put the tight end on a flat route or we can put the tight end on a streak. All three of those are viable options for this. I personally think it works best to leave the tight end on the whip route or to put the tight end on a flat route but you can do either. You can also put him on a streak if you want to. I'm gonna to choose to put him on a flat. I think the flat does a little better for zone coverage. And so I'm gonna motion this R1 receiver, but I wanna get him all the way out here to the numbers just like so. And the reason why is because if they're not covering underneath, I wanna take advantage of it. And so what I really want to force my opponent to have to do, as you saw right there, that was a Mabel coverage, what I really want to force them to have to do is start throwing a yellow zone onto the left side of the field. And so as you see right here, he's going to throw the yellow zone out there. I'm going to continue to stay consistent with my adjustment. And you're going to see right here that as we run this play, the R1 is going to come open as a nice little underneath read. The R1 is such a good route, um, the little baby in route. And the reason why is because most people are going to use her that post route nine times out of ten and they're not gonna use the, the in route. The problem for it is when you properly snap the ball, when you put this, um, when you really, really motion this over, and this is why you can't afford to leave the whip route, but really get it out there. That's gonna give you a lot, a lot of spacing. And as you'll see right here, you know what they're really gonna ultimately have to do is have um, two to three underneath type of zones to take this away. And so because of that, what that's gonna mean is it's going to mean either less pressure or it's going to mean less coverage. They can't really have both. You're gonna to have to see some kind of defense like what I'm showing you right here. And what that is gonna to start to open up for you is it's going to start to open up your sideline passing. So it's gonna open up your curls and your, um, your flats and things like that. And so you wanna see here, if I look to the flat, oh, the flat's taken away, but I can hit this route to, to Valdez Scantling. Now, right there, the corner actually played it very, very well, but I wanna go over that one more time with you. So again, we're just gonna put a couple yellows out there for this situation. As you can see, it's very common that we're gonna to have to, they're gonna to have to deal with something like this. You know, they may even shift into a cover two style of defense. You know, it really, um, you know, just depends on kind of what they're thinking. But what you'll see again, you know, just something as simple as this right here. And if you watch this little whip route right here, um, you actually have some decent spacing when you use that whip route. The beauty of the whip route 
is against man-to-man -man coverage, specifically man-to-man -man coverage, the whip route is super effective. Um, the, so you've got the little baby in route against man, and you've also got this really nice little whip route that is very, very effective. The beauty of the U-trips is in its ability to consistently just carve defenses up. That is what it does super, super well well now of course you've got your post route right here and i don't want to kind of miss out on the fact that you can um, throw these post routes um you can throw these post routes in a lot of different situations it's not just you can only throw them against one coverage or one zone drop you can actually throw them pretty much against every coverage and you can throw them at multiple spaces so if you want to throw it early you can obviously throw it early if you want to throw it late you can also throw it late. And that's something that most people don't understand about this play um, is how when you use the wheel route to the running back, what happens is it begins to open up zones because what you've now done is you're forcing the flat zones to have to actually go to the flat. When the flat zones can kind of pinch in, that's where the issue lies and that's why you wanna get all full realm of motion because as you can see, I can throw that very early in the play and have a lot of success. I can also throw that late in the play and have a lot of success as well. Now, one little thing I wanted to shift back for just a moment about Mabel coverage, and just wanted to show what it would look like if they literally dropped everybody into coverage, you would still have openings. And so you would actually still have two specific ones that I wanna talk about. The first one, obviously, we've shown you is the post route right there on that left. But on the right side, you've got this nice little um, this nice little curl route. Now, if they're running a lot more zone than they are man coverage, that's where I would tell you every day of the week to go ahead and take that tight end and put him on either a flat route or put him on an out route. One of the two things, um, because it's going to, like if they have like a three wreck or they have like a vert hook on that side, that, that, that guy will kind of climb out just like so. But if you wait on it, that curl route opens up very nicely for you. So, this offense is super simple, but it's super, super effective. This is a play that you can go to that will just simply work your opponent up and down the field. This little combination is so simple, but yet it is so effective. If they're not playing hard flats on both sides of the field, they're screwed. If they're not playing um, yellow zones on both sides of the field, then they're going to be screwed again. If they're not playing, so they have to play at least four underneath style of zones. And the beauty of that is you can obviously, you know, throw um, you can obviously throw your post route against pretty much anything. Now, I didn't show the tight end streak, but if you do streak the tight end, um, you're going to see here that we're going to have a really nice little combination. And what the, the streak of the tight end is going to do is it's just going to help open up lanes for you to be able to throw your um for you to be able to throw your, your guy wide open, just like that right there. Another thing you can do, if you do something like that, I would go ahead and take circle and maybe do something like this right here. And the reason why is because late on, late in the play, you can throw that thing on the sideline just like so. So, you know, very powerful little routes in this play. This is one of my favorite passing concepts in Madden 21, and if you wanna learn exactly how I run the U-Trips offense in Madden 21, you can get the entire offensive guide for just $10 in the description. I'm gonna leave a link down below for you to be able to get it. It's gonna give you a step-by-step -step guide in how you can actually run this entire offense in a competitive way. So thanks for watching this video, and if you wanna get my U-Trips offensive guide, it is gonna be available in the description for just $10.